What's going on guys, Tosker here, and in this video we're going to work on creating or setting up really our main window view. Now the first thing we're going to do is go down here to our main window content, and we're going to replace our grid with a dock panel. And then we're going to put two grids in here. Now one grid is going to be the toolbar, and the other is going to be the remaining content. And we want to dock the toolbar to the top and then we want to dock the content to the bottom. So now we have our two grids. Uh, we want the toolbar to actually be a defined height so we're going to give it a height of 40 and as we see we have up here in the designer we have our height and then we have our content. Now what I want to do is go back down here to our XAML and we actually want to give it a little styling so we're going to actually give our toolbar down here a little background color so we're going to call it background and if you remember we created our brushes in the first video and we're going to give it a blue gray gradient background now as we see here we have that now going back to the bottom now what we want to do here next is give our we want to give it eight columns where we'll call the grid column definitions and give it a column definition and copy and paste this seven more times. Now the reason we did this is because we're actually going to break our toolbar up here into little column chunks where we're going to place certain buttons. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a grid because we want the entire content to be filled here and we're going to give it a grid column of zero and then inside of this we're going to create a button content and we're going to put inside of it favorite so what we're going to have over here is two buttons uh, one that we can go to a listing of our favorite contacts and another one that's going to be just our regular all of our contacts then we're going to essentially want to copy and paste this and we're going to put it in column one and we're just going to call this one context. Now another thing we want to do is we actually want to create some tool buttons. And we're going to pretty much put these in a stack panel. Uh, we're going to set the orientation to horizontal. But actually before that we want to do grid dot column six and then we want to give it a grid dot column span of two and then we already have our orientation set here and then we want to do a horizontal alignment to the right now what this is going to do here is we're going to have a horizontal stack panel that's going to have some image buttons over here for add remove and delete and we're going to hug them over here to the right so going back to our XAML, we're going to then create an add button. We're going to create a button and we'll give it a background and we want it to kind of match in with the bar that we have above. So we're going to give it a static resource background of blue gray gradient. And then we're going to close that off. And then we actually want to change the content. So button.content and inside here we're going to put an image like we did uh, we put into our project earlier from the first video and we don't want it to be too big uh, so and we want them to be nice little squares so we're going to give them a height and width of 30 and then we're going to close that off and basically what we want to do here is we want to go uh, click our button in the XAML and then go over to our properties panel and we want to find actually we want to click the image so let me go back here we want to click the image not the button and then go over here and we'll find our source under common now we can just find the image that we want to put here so this is going to be the add button so we'll put the add icon and we'll come back over here and we'll see it'll add this into our source property and we basically just want to copy and paste these for uh, creating and deleting So 
So now if we go look up at our designer here, we see we have our favorites and our contacts, and then we have add, edit, and delete buttons. Now lastly, what we want to do is down here, if you remember, we made another grid, pan uh, another grid panel, and we just want to put a content control here. Where we don't have any binding set up, so we're just going to leave it empty for now. But this essentially will be where we put our data template once we do binding. Now, of course, while we're doing all this, um, if we did notice, and I'm sure you noticed, these, uh, these buttons are kind of ugly. They don't go along with the background. And even over here in our menu, we have some borders that are uh, kind of sticking out and nothing really flows well together. So we're going to create some styles for these. So we're going to go over to our app.xaml. And then here we have all of our brushes and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to create some room so we can start creating some control templates or control styles rather. Now we're first going to create here a menu tab button. So this will be for the favorites and contacts. We're going to create a style. We're going to give it a key and we'll call it the menu tab button and its target type will be of course a regular button I'm going to give it a setter property background and we'll give it a value and like I mentioned before we have our static resource brushes here so we're going to do static resource and we also like our image buttons we want it to kind of blend in with the toolbar color so we're going to do a blue gradient. Okay guys, so what we did here is we created a little menu tab button. Uh, we gave it a background because we wanted to also like the image buttons blend in with the background of the toolbar. Uh, we give it a foreground here of innuendo which we also defined above. Uh, same for blue horizon for the border brush. Now the border thickness, I set it to just one pixel on the right side because we don't want to completely box the button because of where they're placed. Uh, we just want uh, a little separation between the buttons that we add to the right of it. And then of course we want it a little bigger so we gave it a font size of 16. So next we actually want to create a menu icon button. So instead of the ones for our text like we did above, we want to do one for the image buttons that we created. Right, and now we created our menu icon button uh, so we just have a background similar because we want it to blend in with the toolbar uh, we have a foreground um, which isn't going to matter too much here and then padding and some border thickness so what we're going to do is actually hop on over to our uh, solution explorer here and go to our main window and we want to go down to our XAML and actually apply these styles so we're going to find our buttons here. We're going to give it a style, static resource, and menu tab button. And then of course, copy and paste this. And then we want to go down to our little buttons here. We're going to give these styles, static resource, our menu icon button. We're going to repeat this. Hey guys, uh, one thing I wanted to throw in at the end, I didn't mention it in the video, but if you actually go down here to our XAML, uh, after we did our menu button styles, uh, for example the one with the images, we can actually remove these background properties entirely because we already set them within the style. So I just wanted to throw that in there so nobody gets confused when they're missing in the next video. And now that we're done, if we look up here at our window, we actually have a, something that's pretty decent looking I guess I'm usually not good with uh, designing but if you guys can come up with something better that'd be cool but we have what we need so if we run our application here real quick just to see how it feels so we got our application here um, nothing too fancy uh, just we have a little favorite and contacts and some menu item buttons here so in the next video, we're actually going to do some uh, view models and uh, basic implementations.